Make a Path presents Let's Talk. Deborah Barkalow, who is your least favorite character in the comic books? P.S. You're awesome. Thank you very much. I would have to say Father Gabriel. Uh, no, Rosita. Yeah, it's a tie between those two. I Sweet. Do you think that they'll there will be a major death in season six? If so, then who? Carol Glenn. Right now, top top of my head, that's who I pick. Eleven eighty nine Paris. Do you think the show will add new characters to season six or spend time developing the large cast? It is already. How do you think Jesse and Rick will first get together. You know what, the Jesse and Rick thing, listen, we can go on and on about that. That's not an easy question to answer, but I do believe that Jesse and Rick are gonna start in very different places right now, and I think it's gonna be on opposite sides of the fence. I'll be honest with you. I think there's gonna be some friction there, because he did just kill, even though he was an asshole, he killed her you know, husband her son's father, her kid's father. So I think there's going to be friction there, and I think that that friction and getting over that hurdle will put them together relationship-wise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, as far as the new characters, yeah, I think we'll get a couple new characters, but not much. Not right yet, anyway. Hemi30, why do you think Jesse has two sons on a television? You know what? I know a lot of people talk about why, because No Way Out is coming and she only had one son then, but if you look at it now... What did having two kids do for the story? Her youngest son is the reason for the entire end of season six. Because what he did and how he did it and everything involved with him is the reason why Rick confronted, is the reason why Carol got involved. So that's what the younger kid did. The older kid didn't do as much, but he still did something. It brought Rick and Jesse together at first, and then it brought Carl and Enid together. And then uh, there's probably more coming as the seasons evolve in season six, but that's pretty much... I think she had two kids because of season five, not because of what's coming in season six. They can work around that. That's not a problem. Mini myth, mythical, mini mythical morning. Will Carl ever get his eyes shot out? Uh, Kami Jun Pa Fan or whatever. You ask the same thing. Uh, yes, I think it is necessary for him to get his eyes shot out. I am very doubtful that they'll do it though. I don't think that. Um, I just I don't know. I don't think they're gonna put their actor through that, but. I think it's it's necessary, you know. Jord McGorry. First and foremost, I love your Walking Dead content. Thank you very much. Do you think that Carl will go softer in season six now that they have found a safe haven in Alexandria? No, I don't think Carl will go, go softer. Mario Arias. Are you Russian? No. I'm Russian through this video to get it done, but I'm not Russian. Like, you know, from Russia. Why? <laughs> Matt Jacobs, since Tyrese got Morgan's comic book death and Morgan only just arrived in Alexandria... No, Morgan's not going to get Morgan's comic book death. As far as what will his role be in Alexandria, I want to say, like, co-counsel. I really want to say that, you know? To Rick, to others, I think that he'll play a very helpful role in that. The human aspect of ruling. Johnny Wee Dude, why do the Walking Dead TV series kills off... Every black people in a season or episode in Q&A if no way else. What? Oh, my God. Uh, listen, bro. I am the last person to ever ask uh, that bullshit. <laughs> That's probably one of the things I hate about the, um, the fandom talking on social media. Ridiculous shit like that. No, it's not a racist plot. White people die all the time on the show. You know what I'm saying? If they were racist... They wouldn't even hire them. First off, Bob's character, okay? You know, Bob the black dude got his leg eaten. I saw people talking about how that was unfair. That Bob got eaten and killed, whatever. They just wanted to kill a black guy. That role was originally white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bob originally, Bob Stuckey, in the comic book, in a novel, he's a white guy. They gave it to an actor who they felt deserved the role. He just so happened to be black. You know what I'm saying? If they were racist, they would have said no and hired a white actor. I think it's just so stupid to say that uh, they killed him off because he was black. And the same thing with Noah. I heard that originally in the script, Noah's character was a white dude. And they, they casted the best person they thought would fit the role. And it turned out it was a black dude. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't fall for that 
crap, you know, at all. But I don't believe that racist shit at all. Most intelligent gamers, do you think the wolves will kill anyone important? Uh, no, I don't think they will. I'm just throwing it out there. Nobody important. Mason Moore, or you said that you think that the cover of 143 means that they're going to heaven. Listen, I get it with the sun coming through. I, I get that. But that's just, you know, an artistic vision. That's not them dying and going to heaven. Riston Greener, uh, Make a Path Presents. What issue do you think Negan will die in? How and why? I have no idea. I know you put just do your best, but right now, I, I would be full of shit if I ran, you know, pretended like I knew an issue, pretended like I knew a storyline. If Negan didn't die in All Out War, Negan's going to be around for a few years. You know what I'm saying? So no one's answering that question anytime soon. Sam Rowe, do you think Glenn was bitten when Nicholas... No, no, I hear that all the time. No, Glenn wasn't. If Glenn was bit, he would be handling that, you know? He would be going right back to be like Maggie and fuck, chop it off or I'm dead, you know what I mean? Kyle Qualter, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead show. Uh, you're saying that the comics are starting to change your opinion on the show. Should you stop reading and enjoy the show? or keep reading and ruin my view of the show by constantly comparing it to the comics. I get this question a lot, and I came to the conclusion that it's a personal problem. Uh, me personally, I think we all go through this, where you read the comic and you love a part of the story. Still to this day, when No Way Out comes, you'll see me bitch a lot, you know? Because there's scenes I love in the comic. Uh, but for me, 90% of the time, I am actually happy with having a version of the story in the comic and a version of the story on screen. And I'm content knowing that in my lifetime they will make a direct adaptation of the comic book. So if they don't do it on the TV show, I'm not really that worried. As long as it fits the story for the TV show, if you can't sit there and say, honestly, I'm going to enjoy the comic for the story. I'm going to enjoy the show for its story, even though it's a different story. If you can't, then it, you're, you're never going to, you know. It might take a while, but uh, that's no one can answer that for you. Carl Grimes, when I first watched Season 5, Episode 9, what happened to what's going on? I thought it was cool how they brought back the governor and Tyrese's death. I really wish you would get to a fucking question. Um, you said you, you loved it because in the comic, the governor killed Tyrese. If the governor was the only one there, I would have said yeah, but Martin was there. I'm sure they thought of that, you know, as a connection to the comic. However, everyone else was there. So it was more than just a connection to the comic. You know what I mean? 101 Myth Mythbusters. Do you think anyone will ever say the word zombie? No. What is your fascination with the fucking word zombie? Uh, I erased your name, Machia. Mahia, Maticha, 00005. Do you think that Rick will ever die and Carl will take his role? The comics, yes. The show, no. Uh, do you think that Daryl will die? Yes. And do you think that they will revisit in old places like the farm, the camp? No, they're not going to old places. Definitely not in the show. Oh, and you don't have a reply button, so... John Boy 85 Ronnie Awesome Channel, thank you very much. And then you go on to ask a ridiculous question. <laughs> uh, let's get into this. Will The Walking Dead show turn Carol into the leader of the Whispers? Given her attitude and mind state, I think it would be awesome. What do you think? I think that's a horrible idea. I'm sorry, but that's just horrible. Or maybe make her the leader of the Hilltop. If you guys don't know by now, I'm absolutely, totally against Carol being the leader of the Hilltop. She's not a leader. She goes out of her fucking way to show us fans she is not a leader. You know what I'm saying? She can lead. You know what I'm saying? But she's not, she's not a leader like that. Her leadership would be overthrown. Rick Grimes Crow. Um, you're asking if I think that they can drag out the storyline of the wolves. Yeah, if they have a lot going on, they could do that. Absolutely. It all matters in the storyline. I know we get these fans that think that you know, a character needs to ha come in a certain part of the story, you know what I mean, and last for a certain amount of time. Like the, the people, and I find this ridiculous, the people who think that because we heard about Terminus so much in Season 4, that Terminus, we should have stayed there in Season 5 more than one episode. I must have been the only person who was scared to death they would ruin the show by keeping them prisoners. Over the break, I thought about it so much, and I was like, just please don't let them be prisoners. That would suck. 
there'd be no storyline, you know? And then everyone bitched that because we heard about them so much, they need to be a bigger part of the story. It doesn't work that way. So I think they story-wise, if it's a good story, they can bring the wolves back in Season 7 and make it work, you know? Matthew the First Evil OK Smith. Uh, what do you think about Enid being Lydia? It works because we don't know what happened to Enid's mom or dad. Maybe she didn't like... What? No, it doesn't work, <laughs> you know? I don't know why we do this as fans. I don't know. You're taking a character from the comic who's not even in this storyline for a while yet, and you're trying to say that this other character is her? If we were going to character swap like that, I can say Sophia makes sense, but Lydia just does not make sense. No matter how you try to talk me into it, Lydia doesn't make sense at all. Danny Milhouse, uh, you want to know if we will get Shiva in the TV show? Yes. Uh, Corrupt Cone, you also want to know uh, how do you think they will handle Ezekiel's Tiger in the show? They're going to have CGI and practical. They'll do both of it. Corey Price. If you were in the Alexandria safe zone, what job would you have? Ooh, that's a good question. I would actually make myself be in charge of perimeter checks. I think that would be an important job. I do think that should be a job in this show. They should have someone who's not a cop, who's not a constable, who simply does a perimeter check three times a day. Eat breakfast, walk around the entire perimeter. After lunch, walk around the entire perimeter. After dinner, and you do that every day without missing a beat. That's the job I would volunteer myself for. Dakota Stevens. I've noticed that we haven't seen Michonne have any romantic relationships. Uh, do you think they will have one next season? I think Morgan's a perfect fit for Michonne as far as her relationship. You know what? I got like five people asking it why they did gender swaps for Dina and Reg. Probably because it worked. You know what I mean? It, it just it worked. It did. Now, if you try to gender swap a popular character. Douglas was somewhat popular, but Negan, for example, wildly popular. You can't gender swap Negan. You can't gender swap, you know, Paul Jesus Monroe. These are characters that, again, they are solid brands. You can sell a Jesus action figure. Right now, you wouldn't be able to sell as much Douglas Monroe action figures as far as the action figure, you know what I mean? That's a brand. So it's the same thing for character swapping. You can swap the minor ones, that's fine. You're not going to character swap the governor, you know, that would have been ridiculous. Um, Negan's the same way, Jesus is the same way. There's certain characters you can, and certain ones you can't. And again, it just worked, that's why they did it. Ricky Garza, Morgan said that all life is precious. What event or events do you think? Listen, Morgan was robbing and killing, you know? I think somebody um, saved Morgan's life and showed Morgan that all life is precious. You know, somehow, something similar to that. Adam Ewens, do you think Father Gabriel will be touched on in the comic books anymore? It's like he disappeared. Yeah, I think Father Gabriel will. I'm hoping they do something neat with him, kind of uh, give his character a refresher for the new beginning. Lucas Gay, do you think Daryl or someone like Daryl will come into the comics? Never. Plus, we already got Dwight. That's similar. Subscribe now.